All right, so this is a review on the Shakespeare Micro Series Blue, and um, in my opinion, it's a it's a great rod. For as cheap as it gets, it's a pretty pretty decent rod. I've used this for uh, mostly panfish and trout, but it's it's survived um, pretty decent uh, fights with bass. Now, I'm here at a creek just trying to catch some bluegills. I'm tying this little crawfish thing, straight braid. But, uh, oh, this rod has been real great. For 25 bucks, you get a rod and reel ultralight, and it's just one of the best things ever. I recommend, the reason I have braid on this is because uh, I don't really like using the pre-spooled line that comes with most combos. So well, for every combo you get, you guys get, I recommend taking off the line that if, if it comes pre-spooled with line, I recommend taking it off and putting on equivalent or whatever size line you want. I have eight pound braid on this rod and oh man. I see some bluegill in front of me right now, so hopefully I will catch something. This rod is rated ultra light, but I don't know how uh, light it can throw or how heavy it can throw. It's, a, it's pretty sensitive. You can feel a lot of stuff on this. And for just 20 bucks, 25 bucks from Walmart, it's a pretty good damn rod. The reel is too bearing, so I'd recommend, I'd recommend, uh, uh, if you don't like lower bearing reels, then I'd recommend to get a new one. But the one that comes, if, if you're trying to get into fishing and your budget is pretty low, then I'd recommend this rod because it's pretty damn good. I'm trying to look trout magnet, straight braid. All right. No, this isn't the lightest rod ever, but it's still pretty light. You could still, you can still um, cast like trout magnets. Oh, I'm getting a bite. Get a bite. I'm getting nibbled right now. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Oh yeah. Tiny bluegill, but I mean, that's still good, yeah. On the trout magnet. Let's unhook this little guy. And uh, let's keep fishing. Straight braid. You can find this rod in most Walmarts, like for around 20 to 25 bucks. I got mine for 20 at Walmart. I used it for trout. Yeah! On your super worm. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, the fish is the All right, I gotta switch to that worm right now. <laughs> That's your first cast with it too. That's awesome. First cast with the super worm, dude. But now it's mostly my uh, panfish rod. I'm gonna need a bite. Ooh. This rod's like one of the best ultralights I have. And considering it's 25 bucks, it's like, that's a really good deal.
Am I tying a grub to get a little bit more distance? Um, all I've been getting bites on today was a trout magnet. So I might just keep fishing that. Ooh, I just had a big hit right there. I saw him come up for it. Ooh, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, it's another bluegill. He swallowed the whole thing. Damn, all right, I'll see you, buddy. Let's try, let's try to keep fishing. Well, that's a bite, that's a bite. No take. I, I, don't, I don't think I have much else to say about this rod. It has cork handles, pretty good reel seat. It's plastic. Um, the line guides are amazing. They're not those plastic ones you see. And the rod's made out of graphite, which which makes it really bendy um other than that i don't think i have anything else to say it's just this rod is really good for beginners or budget fishermen if you want to get started fishing i'd recommend you buy this rod let's try to catch one more bluegill before the video ends Oh, that's a bite. Ooh. Cast over there. Try to catch one more, come on. Oh yeah. All right. Well, I guess that concludes the video guys. Um, if you enjoyed this review, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down what you enjoyed. Um, I'll, I'll see you guys later.